Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making guacamole. This recipe is super easy. All you need is four avocados. Um, depending, I might use less, but four for now. Three Roman tomatoes. Um, you need garlic. Um, half of a large onion. One lime. Some cilantro. Salt and pepper. And jalapenos and then I'm gonna be making hot dogs I might not show you this because it's kind of easy all I'm using is mayonnaise ketchup sweet relish Cuban style mustard and I have the hot dog buns I'm just using Wonder Bread this is actually my favorite kind of bread um, shredded cheese I'm using Nathan's hot dogs and then I'm gonna grill up some onions to put on it and so yeah, let me chop up this first and then I will get back to you and show you how I make my guacamole. Okay, so here are all of my um, my vegetables chopped up. I have my onion, jalapenos, garlic, cilantro, tomatoes, um, and lime. And then I mashed up four of the avocados and I'm gonna start assembling it. Okay, so first I'm gonna add my tomato. I used all three of the Roman tomatoes. You can add more or less. It just depends on how chunky you like your uh, guacamole. Um, I'm not going to add the full thing yet. I'll go off of what I see. Normally I like purple tomatoes, but I mean purple onions, but they didn't have any. So I'm just using white. I'm gonna add about that much. Then I'm gonna add my jalapenos. Use fresh garlic. Do not use um, ones that's already pre-made. Fresh is the way to go. And then I'm gonna add my cilantro. This is optional. Some people like cilantro, some people don't. I personally like it, but I used to hate it. And then I'm gonna add some salt. and some pepper and then I'm going to squeeze my lime I got the last lime by the way I'm kind of mad about it because I really like a lot of lime in my guacamole, but that's okay. We work with it. And then you're gonna mix it. And that's how I make my guacamole and this is what I have left over just a little bit of tomatoes and a little bit of onion now I'm gonna see you for the mukbang portion hi guys welcome back to my channel I haven't seen you guys in forever and I'm back though and today I'm gonna be having American style hot dogs these just have um, Nathan's hot dogs with grilled onions, a sweet relish, mayonnaise, mustard, and Cuban style, or mayonnaise, Cuban style mustard, and ketchup. And then I have these cute little pepperoncinis on the side. And you guys saw me make my guacamole. 
And for my chips, I'm going to be having lime and jalapeno ruffles. These are okay. I wanted a different kind of chip, but this is what they had at the grocery store, and I figured this would go well with guacamole, so we're going to try it out. Um, don't mind what I look like. I'm trying out my natural hair, and I'm not wearing makeup. I'm trying to get my waves back, but yeah, just ignore it. I'm going to eat first, and then I'll catch you guys up on what I have been up to since I've been gone. Ugh, I love hot dogs. They're so easy to make. Super cheap. And then I'm going to be drinking one of these. I'm trying to stay away from soda. This is the next best thing for me. This is the tangerine mango. And I got I get this at Walmart. It's so good. I love every flavor of these. Clear water. Or clear American sparkling water. Highly recommend. I go in phases with guacamole, like I either really like it or I don't want anything to do with it. Don't ever do store bought guacamole, like if you can make your own, make it. It's super easy. You can keep it for a couple days. You just have to keep um, putting a little bit of lime on it so it doesn't brown. But, oh, so good. Anyway, I missed you guys. I've been gone for a couple months. I wanted to come back, but then the whole pandemic happened, and I was like, yep, well, maybe I'll wait. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be insensitive and eat food when maybe people are struggling and they don't have a means to be able to eat. And I don't want to be like, hey, guys, I know um, this whole thing just happened, but I'm just going to go ahead and eat. <laughs> So I wanted to take a little bit more time. And um, while I've been gone, I've been thinking I really want to go back to school. And so while I've been sitting in my room just working and then not really doing much else, I figured I'm going to sign up. I think I know what I want to do and what I want to go to school for. And if I don't, I can go ahead and do my basics, get them out of the way. And then if I start a degree and I don't like it, I can switch. I have all the time in the world to go to college and figure out what I want to do. So I'm just going to do it right now. I mean, of course, I don't want to cam for the rest of my life. And if I have the ability to do it right now, I should take advantage of it. So what I'm wanting to go to school for is um, to be a clinical psychiatrist.
So I'm going to go to a community college, um, do two years, and then transfer to a university. I've never been more, exci more excited to just be able to start an actual career. I'm really excited. I want to do something and say I was able to do it all on my own. I stuck with it and I graduated. So I know it's going to be a really long road ahead, but I'm willing to take the risk. Let me know if you're going to be starting college this year and what you're going to be going for or if you're in college right now. I'm hoping to start in the fall, but if all else fails and I can just start in the winter, either or, I'm down. I want to, I would rather start sooner than later so I can't back out, you know, do it while I'm, it's on my mind right now and I'm ready. I used to hate sweet relish, but now I really like it. Um, the only difference between dill relish and sweet relish is they put sweetener in it. So I didn't know that. I thought there were other things. Cause I'm like, when I even like a year ago, I didn't like it. But now I can get down with it. everyone's doing well I know we're going through a rough time in even like even in the world but I hope everyone's hanging in there and not giving up hope things are gonna get better it's just gonna take a lot of time and if I seem a little nervous it's because I haven't filmed in a while and I'm a little shy I never get shy but I feel like I'm back to square one with YouTube Um, also, I just started my wavy hair journey. Um, if you didn't know, I had wavy hair my whole life and I hated it. And I would always straighten it. I would curl it. I did everything but wear my hair natural. And I recently found out about the curly girl method. And I'm like, this is what I need. I want to get rid of heat styling products. I don't want to put any heat in my hair anymore. And I want to wear my natural hair. I'm like tired of not embracing it. So if you're a girl that has like 3A hair or 4C hair or even 2B hair like me, I highly recommend starting the journey because I've learned so much about my hair in so little time. Yeah, I just recently found out that I'm supposed to be using um, silk pillow sheets. Had no idea um, before I started this. Oh, my chip. 
falling apart. Before I started this, I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to use sulfates or anything, so all of this is news to me. I'm only on, yeah, I'm only on the first month, so it's going to take a couple months for my hair to come back, but it's already getting so wavy again. I'm actually super excited. I was talking about this with my mom, and she literally does not care. You know how, like, you're interested in things, and you talk about it with other people, and they don't care, and you're just, like, you feel like you're annoying them? I felt that way, so I try not to talk about it with her, because she doesn't care. This is another reason I want to um, go to college so I can go into classes and make friends and talk about stuff that I'm interested in with other people and maybe find some common ground. Because I do, I'm kind of tired of being cooped up and it'll be nice to get out and go into class. I would love to go into um, the college instead of taking online classes, but you know, with how things are going right now, I'm sure they're going to offer online classes to begin with. This is pretty good. 10 out of 10. I make pretty bomb hot dogs, I'm telling you. I also toast my hot dog buns because I feel like they're better that way. I just toast the outside so it's nice and nice and toasty. Look how good that looks. So apart from like immersing myself within my hair and um, looking up colleges and stuff, I've also been watching a lot of Netflix and wow, I've seen so many good, if you guys have not seen Hollywood on Netflix, you're playing yourself. You need to go watch it. It is so freaking good. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but maybe um, if you want on my next mukbang, I'll talk about it. I should have brought more napkins. I didn't realize how messy, even though I've had this before, I forgot how messy it is. These chips are huge, by the way. Uh, this is what I like about this. These is that they're huge, but ruffles are hard to scoop. They always break. But yeah, that's, that's a hefty boy.
I've also watched a lot of Queer Eye on Netflix. I love that show. I binge watched all four seasons. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend that too. And um, I watched Outer Banks. I haven't finished that yet, but that's pretty good. I, of course, watched Tiger King. Um, I think it's pretty good, but uh, the amount of people talking about that for the longest time, I was kind of over it after a while. I could eat a whole jar of these pepperoncinis. They're so good. The ones they give you at pizza places are shit because they're dried out and they're nasty. But the ones that you get in the jar, so good. I'm actually getting full. Um, mind you, it's 3 a.m. It took me forever to set up everything because I haven't filmed in a couple months so everything was put away. And by the time I cooked and, well, not, well yeah, I cooked my hot dogs and I made the guacamole, it was already 2.30 and I was like, oh my god. And I have to put everything back. That's okay, like, the world is already disaster so it's not like I'm doing anything. Even though Texas already opened back up. Honestly not surprised. Texas is a state where everyone's like, I do what I want. I'm going to take one more bite and then I'm done. The only thing I don't like about this bread is that it sticks to the roof of my mouth. So every time I chew, I feel like it keeps like trying to come out of my mouth. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to take some time off of YouTube. Um, you guys left the sweetest messages on my videos asking if I was okay. I got the, a couple troll comments, but most of them were so nice, and I really appreciate that. I am back. I am back. I promise to not go anywhere. I'm going to be more consistent. I actually want to make other videos besides just eating videos. I've always been afraid to do it, and I always, like, second-guess myself, but I really want to make this channel what I want it to be and not be afraid of like not getting views or anything but I'm going to be making painting videos because a lot of you guys ask how I make my painting my paintings that I do my poor paintings so I figured I could do that I want to make a hair journey video and like document my wavy hair and Hopefully my waves come back at the bottom like my some people have wavy hair at the bottom and not on the top I'm the opposite. I have wavy hair on my top, but my bottom is pretty flat So I'm hoping within time and not using any heat that all of my hair will be wavy again So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for any other videos you want me to do let me know
Um, I thought about doing haul videos, but I don't really go shopping, so let me know if you want me to do that. And I will be back with another video hopefully next week. I was going to make another video actually. I was going to make guacamole and a pasta dish, but I didn't want to do it. It was so late. Um, so by the time I started making the guacamole, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to scrap that. But I still have the stuff in my fridge. So if you want to see like a chicken fajita pasta, let me know. Anyway, I will see you guys next week. Bye.